For some reason, the left has be become infatuated with sexual predators. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on over there. And I don't understand the reason behind this. But I got to show you this video of them trying to do a documentary on Vice about how sexual offenders are become have become victims of the system. And it's interesting because it doesn't end well for them. Check this out. If you are dubbed a sex offender, someone who's committed a sex offense, you are subject to all types of punishments that nobody else, including murderers, are subject to. Somebody who was sentenced to serve one or two years in prison could end up getting stuck there for the rest of their life solely because they can't find a place to live. There's a lot of people who want this population to be isolated that think that isolation equals safety. Like, I'm sympathetic because she was victimized, but I'm not sympathetic in the sense of taking responsibility for something I didn't do. All right, so there you see it. They're sympathizing with sexual predators because they feel they're not getting uh, fair treatment within the judicial system or in the prison system because if they can find a place to live, they will stay incarcerated until that time comes. Many of these sexual predators cannot help themselves and they will continue to prey on victims until they are incarcerated or receive some special kind of treatment. So this notion that being safe when they're not around is actually truthful and they're trying to lie as they do in every other instance when it becomes a narrative that they're trying to build. I'm going to put the documentary in, in the description or the comment section so you can take a look at it for yourself. But this is the kicker here. Okay, I'm going to read this brief paragraph from an article that's based on this documentary. And again, I'm going to put it in the description of this, this video. So it goes into this. A recent Vice News documentary aiming to destigmatize sexual predators dismantle the sexual offender registry and advocate for offender civil rights ended on a hollow note after the documents documentaries main subject a chief sent a picture of his genitalia to the show's producers following the interview and even even as they advocate for them they become a victim of these perverts anyway check this out real quick and it's actually sad but funny I we all out here in this world and we all got to make it happen and ain't nothing stopping me. So like, I'm very hopeful and confident. After this interview, Ashif sent a picture of his penis to our producer. So they advocate for these people and then they become a victim of their sexual deviancy. Anyway, I thought you'd find this interesting that the left continues to advocate for sexual predators wants to put them in your neighborhoods around you and your children and yet this happens when they advocate for them anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon